Hi, in this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create a very simple physics informed neural network code in PyTorch. So the example I'm gonna go over is from this uh, uh, tutorial set that I had created previously. So there are three pin examples here. There's a simple 1D advection diffusion pin code, which I will be going over right now. And then there's a 2D diffusion equation code and also a Navier-Stokes solver. And also in this repository, you can also check out some simpler neural network examples. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to do an image to image uh, super resolution type uh, mapping with PyTorch, but here you can find a much simpler examples uh, compared to that. So an example of a linear regression model is provided here, how we can do a very simple linear regression in PyTorch and also how we can do a very simple nonlinear regression for just simple 1D data sets. That you can take a look if you're, uh, uh, if you want a simpler example. But now we're going to go over a 1D advection diffusion pin solver. So uh, here in this code, in this bottom here, we set our input parameters. We define the total number of epochs, or essentially the iterations, so 6,000. We don't use batching really here. It's just a simple, this is just a simple 1D code. Uh, we uh, enforce boundary conditions, as you'll see in a moment, exactly. So here are parameters, the velocity, the diffusion. So what I'm solving basically is nothing but velocity times partial c partial x equals the diffusion coefficient times the second derivative of c with respect to x. I have 100 collocation points uniformly seeded between 0 to 1 right here. And then I also define my boundary conditions bound, and I define my boundary condition points. So XB is where my boundary boundaries are at and CB is the corresponding boundary conditions at those points. I reshape them to appropriate format. I set my learning rate. And here I have the analytical solution that I want to compare with. So I go to the main code. So here's the main function. So uh, I set my, um, so define a switch uh, activation function here. And then also here's my simple neural network. So this is a fully connected neural, neural network. So the input N is set to one. So this is what your output is a function of. So in this case, I'm using a neural network to approximate C as a function of X. So I only have one input because it's just X that's input, so that's one. Then I go to my hidden layer. In this case, I'm using size 40. Then another hidden layer from 40 to 40, and another one with switch activation functions in between. And the last layer, last layer takes my hidden layer of 40 neurons to just one neuron because I only have one output, C, which is function of X. And then here I, you can see how I'm enforcing the boundary condition exactly. So I can take, because this is a simple 1D geometry, I can do that. I can take my output of this uh, neural network and simply just you know, modify the output based on X locations to you know, have a hard constraint for the boundary condition here. So then um, I initialize the neural network uh, and then I define my optimization here. So I have atom optimization. You can set the learning rate. You can change the default parameters in atom optimization if you like. But atom optimization, mostly it's pretty robust with respect to its parameters. And here's the criterion part. This is the main part where the physics is enforced. So I the input is just x. So x goes to my neural network, which I called net2. I get concentration. And then using torch autograd, using automatic differentiation, I can calculate the derivative of C with respect to X. So this is how that's done. I call that C on underscore X. And I take C underscore X and do another derivative with respect to X, and I get the second derivative. So I, if I multiply these by appropriate coefficients, I get the, adve the advection diffusion equation that I want. I take everything to one side. So this is really, this loss really is the residual of my equation, which should be equal to zero. And I define a mean squared error loss, and I want my loss be such that this residual is equal to zero. So a convenient way of setting zero is just using torch.zeros like, which creates an array of zeros with the same size as loss one. And that's what I really want. I want this loss one to be zero at every x. So that's going to be my criteria or loss function. And I can also do boundary conditions. So if I preferred not to use a hard constraint, I can also have a loss for my boundary condition, which I read the boundary point, corresponding boundary values, and I also 
define that as a mean squared error loss. And then I go to my main loop. So here I'm not using batching. So I'm here. I initialize the network. I define my loss equation from criterion. I define loss BC and I define my total loss. If I'm not enforcing boundary condition exactly, the total loss will be loss equation plus loss BC, or usually we use a lambda coefficient to weight the boundary condition loss or equation loss differently, which is another hyperparameter that should be true. And then I do loss backward and I advance my optimization and I print the loss every five iteration. And at the end, I'm plotting the data here. So if I go ahead and run this code, so you can see during different epochs, my loss is coming down. So here I'm running it for uh, 6,000 uh, iterations. And this is the results that I get. So the predicted, the, the green spheres are the predicted solution and the dashed line is the true analytical solution. Yes, you can see I have now a 1D advection diffusion solver that I can solve this equation. So I should warn you that if you go for higher and higher picture numbers, meaning that this become boundary layer becomes sharper and sharper, it at some point you'll not be able to really solve this problem, even if it's a very large neural network. So we have a separate paper, which I'll put it link to the description in the box and also the source codes for that are also available on our lab's GitHub, where we use perturbation methods for solving those thin boundary layer problems with physics informed neural networks.